Good afternoon. The worldwide shortage of computer chips is putting the brakes on safety improvements along busy roads right here in the metro. News 13's Gabe Chavez is live on Central in Knob Hill this afternoon to explain. Gabe. Crews have been working on this Hawk signal for weeks now, and it looks like it's good to go, but it's missing a computer chip. It's a popular stretch of Central that's also been very popular for jaywalkers over the years. With nowhere to cross the street for three blocks, the city is banking on a Hawk signal, cutting down on the problem. If you want to cross to go eat at these restaurants across the street, you could go right here instead of going on another block. The pedestrians will have to wait to use the designated crosswalk. It is one of two safety projects in the area that were supposed to be up and running by the new year. It would be a first for New Mexico. It's what's called rest on red. So instead of the light being green when you're approaching, the light's red on every approach. If you're going the speed limit or under, it turns green and lets you go. If you're speeding, you stop. Like the Hawk signal, the new so-called rest on red smart signals that were supposed to go up on Lennon Cole in the Knob Hill and UNM areas have also been held up by manufacturing delays for computer chips and other materials. While neighbors look forward to these signals aimed at slowing down speeders, they know it won't fix every problem. But then the bad side of it is, I don't know if all the cars will stop at a red light. For example, they could run it since it's a busy road. They just Drivers here usually just sometimes run red lights and all. Now, no word yet on when parts may arrive. The city's Department of Municipal Development says it usually takes one to two months for parts for traffic signals to come in. Now it can take six months to almost a year. Back to you. All right, Gabe, thank you. At the most recent city council meeting, APD gave an update on the speed camera program that we've told you about. The traffic unit says they're hoping to have a combination of stationary and mobile cameras around the city by early spring. They're still trying to figure out what the fines will be and just how many of those cameras will be deployed.